Hey yo folks, let it go here. It's been a bit, but we're back with more Fire Emblem Heroes Book 5. Last time we were, um... I, we were helping defend Embla. Uh... Loki was there in the temple, a blood temple apparently, which is just something that's there in Embla that holds a fate. Bradablick of sorts. I think it was the one Etri made, but I'm not too sure. Either way, Loki showed up, destroyed the darn thing, and uh, I think that was pretty much it of what she did. But more importantly, man, Fafner's. Turns out he's not of this world. He was one of those souls or people who were forcibly summoned in, like, in a messed up way, you know? Like the... In the chapter where we had to fight various versions of what looked like the summoner, where they were just broken heroes who didn't even have their souls. Like, Fafner's like that. And that was just, ugh, it's a tragic, tragic story for him. And apparently Etri was the one who summoned him. The man that we saw. Oh, right, Etri! <laughs> was apparently that patternless you. There's some things that really gotta get answered, huh? <laughs> Let's get into it. So, today, we got Legendary Alm. He's got his base kit. I just gave him Blade Session and Drawback. Raven, the Resident Resplendent. I say Resident, but right now it's Tail T going on, but, uh, well, you know how it is. I try to show some more of my Resplendent heroes. Really, though, I should have. Should I go with Teltia? No harm, no foul, right? Uh, either way, he's got Fury, Springy Axe. No, we're, we're just gonna go with. Teltia. She's plus two, plus five Dragon Flowers. She's got her Tome of Thorn on refined. Life and Death four, Special Spiral three, Rouse Attack Defense, and Speed Rest Solo. I don't know if I'm going to do a showcase for her. I kind of just did it. I got her yesterday or the day before. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. I'll try my best to just sit down and do that. I've been really busy, honestly. But, uh, yeah. I'm back in business. Next, we have Murr. Halloween Murr, as you can see. She's from the Hall of Forms. And I gave her Black Fire Breath, Harsh Command, Bonfire, Attack Res Ideal, Crafty Fighter, Death Res Menace, and Mystic Boost. I went ahead and got her since the Path of Radiance characters don't really interest me. There's Nephany, and that's about it. And that's only one Forma. I still got one that I'm holding on to, so there we go. And I figured Mer would be a fun unit to have, especially if a refund comes along and it's something fun. And lastly, we brought back Winter Fay. She's got Glittering Breath, Drawback, Iceberg, Kestrel Stance 3. She's a Forma this time, by the way. Vengeful Fighter 3, Armor March, and Speed Defense Bond. I don't know why I do this, but I love doing it, and it's a very fun build. So, with that being said, let's get into this. Chapter 11, Deceit. Desolation. Uh, uh, that's right, I think she fainted. Like having a fever or something. It's Regan. Princess Regan. Mm. Where are we? What happened? We're at the Amblian Imperial Villa. You were struck unconscious and been asleep for days. Oh, wow. I'm so happy to see you awake. I was so worried about you. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel all right now. Wait, I've been asleep? I have to go after my brothers. No, wait, Princess Regan, you still need to rest. You shouldn't be up and moving yet. Besides, my brother and the others are following up on what your brothers are doing. Ah, we've just returned. <laughs> I see Princess Regan has returned to us as well. Oh, welcome back. Convenient. Can you tell me anything about the situation with Nidavalir? Or my brothers? The truth is, we have no answers yet. But when you fill up to it, I do hope you will join us as we venture back into Nidavalir. Nidavalir. <gasps> what 
What happened here? Well, what is this music? The capital is a smoking ruin. What the heck was that? There are bodies everywhere. How awful. Ooh. Hey, yo, the, what the f- What is that? What is that thing in the back? You, you all see it. Is that you, Princess Regan? Have you returned? Yes, I'm here. Can you tell me what happened? It was a monster. A ghastly thing I've never seen before. And all my life attacked as if from nowhere. Please, Princess Regan, you must save Nidavalir. Hey, 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 stay with me. Stay with me. I don't understand. Who could have done such a tip? Oh, I heard something get hit. What is that? Oh, oh there he is. Kyle Ken Fafnir. Oh. Oh, that's him! From the the trailer of Book 5's reveal. The monster! It's back! What monster? He, I, have they met it before then? We could destroy all of Nidavalir. Not even the capital was safe. Wait. Brother? That. That's Fafnir! What? How is that possible? What happened to you, Fafner? Brother, please. Wait, wait, don't get too close, Princess Regan. He's dangerous. Oh no. Princess Regan. Oh, Fafner. Okay, so he's still fast. He's an armored unit? Ooh, King of Desolation. Off, man. He's a dragon armor. <laughs> Armored dragon, okay. King of Nidavalir who rose from. Oh man. Okay, so it's still the same. It's still the same. Really? Who rose from the station? Scalding Breath. Swiss Sparrow 2? They still hold him back this late into the book? What's wrong with y'all? Also, I like that this Swiss. Desperation to spare on an armored unit. So let's see. Scalding Breath. Grants speed plus three. If foe initiates combat or. F oh, okay. So it's enemy phase centric. That's our combat grants plus five to every to unit and neutralize effects that guarantee foes follow up attacks and effects that prevent units to follow Oh, oh, oh. An armored unit with no follow up. I see. And also, if unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack. Dude, this is scarier than what Moosebell and Niffle have. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Niffle's is more annoying. But yo, plus five to everything, no follow-up and guard? I see he's keeping that whole guard smoke effect too. Other than that, I want looks like his stats have changed. He definitely got a BSD boost because he's an armored unit now, but. Ooh boy. Oh, man. Also, this guy is here. <laughs> the Balthus. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying your five-star Balthus. I, uh, I got him. I am going to level him up. Hopefully, I'll, I'd will i like to merge him up. I guess, I like the way he looks. He looks pretty cool. He's got, like, a attack and speed super boom. You could, I guess, if you want to be haha -ha funny, you can go for the speed and be like me. Or, otherwise, you could probably go with that attack and get that nice Plagian Axe, or Huge Fan, or, uh, what's, what's that other one, that other one? Deck Swabber, that's the one. And just go nuts with those. Make him nice enemy phase centric. Alright, so you're armored. Is anyone here up a rally? Okay, you have one. It should be fine, though, right? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> well, that's... 
Y'all didn't see that. All right, so armor at armor. Uh, Telty will be fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? You actually can't reach. Oh yeah, I guess I should reveal the surprise. But we'll do that when the time is appropriate. So let's see what we can do here. Understood. We'll let Mer have some fun. Go. Sure. Like this. Like that. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to deal with that darn guard. But it will break up the really? armor march. So let's do it. Time to start the show. Instant axe. Whoa. I see. Desolation indeed. He actually would have died if she was on her own. Wow. Place really is in ruin and on fire. Man. All right, here we go. Got it. <sighs> God. All right, fine. You asked for it. Behold my dragons. Get him. Time for tricks. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Finish off Balthus, I guess. And let's see if Alm can take him out. He's getting a lot. He has a lot of speed, but we should be able to do it. Yep. Also, surprise! Alm oh, with all. Oh man, you are big. Hmm. So yeah, <laughs> we got Alm with the weapon switch shenanigans again. I think. And, uh, yeah, Draco Falchion. <laughs> Refined it, gave him sense skill, guard, his threat and attack speed. He also has attack smoke. But, uh, yeah, we got Alm on the free... Not on the free summon, but he was in the first circle. So, uh, he's a pretty fun unit. And that wind sweep. Oh, and then no follow-up effect on it, too. Mm. Just... Perfection. As you can see. Plus in everything is just dumb. Especially if it's like for free. <laughs> Alright, now what's going on? <laughs> Fafner, get a hold of yourself. It's me, Regan. Your sister. Regan. Get away from him. Whoop. Oh, sir. Nowhere left. Man, I just realized I'm gonna have to do these again because none of my characters are like sword, lances, or axes. You've come to kill him. Admit it, traitor. Please, brother, do as you please. You are king after all. I will handle this rebel. <sighs> Hafner, no, wait! Why, Ulter? Why aren't you trying to stop him? Explain this, Ulter. What has become of Fafner? What did this? I can't get that into it because it's like super early in the morning. And in this like sleepy time, I don't want to wake up everyone else. This is one of the gifts of the crown of the Devergar. 
It possesses any who wear it, any who it judges unworthy. The crown makes a ruin of their mind and body, protecting the kingdom from would-be usurpers. And who is the usurper? The fact is, what allowed the royal family to rule? That fact is what allowed the royal family to rule for generation after generation. You knew this would happen? Why didn't you stop it? Stop it? Why would I? Without the crown of the Vergar, my beloved brother might have regained control of his mind. Oh, right, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, there's a piece of crap. He's been doing his best to prevent Fafner from actually returning home. That's right. Oh, right, I forgot. Ulter's oh, actually pretty trash. He relies on Fafner's existence to just be there with him. And then... Then he might remember where he came from. He'd seek out the Salmoner for help and... How does this have anything to do with Lydico? No. It can't be. But if... I see. Then Fafner is... He was summoned during one of Atri's experiments. Fafner is... From another world? Like... A hero? My brother is everything to me. You see. I cannot live without him. And yet... He still searches for the home he should have forgotten long ago. I hope to make something clear to him. No matter what he does, he has no other place to go. He's already home with me. What are you talking about? He has to get back to his world as soon as possible. Let us help. Now why would he let you do that? Have you not been listening? Fafner is not going anywhere. Look for yourself. He's finally forgotten about those things that matter so little. Like where he's from. And who you are, Regan. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Finally, I am what matters, and I alone. Oh, it's her. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I mustn't let my guard down just yet. First, I need to make sure everyone but me you all, that is, is dead. Of course, you understand that I cannot rest easy while the summoner still lives. I have no need of a weapon that can destroy gates if I destroy the source of the gates themselves. Seems the time for talk has passed. Princess Regan, are you prepared for what comes next? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, hey, Silver. <laughs> yeah, she woos. Where? Oh, hey, Hoppy. This unit, I kind of want to go for her. I like the way she looks. Not particularly specifically in heroes some of, like her face looks a little too small and just way over her head also seems big or, or her face is just way too small i don't know what it is but it bothers me still i like the way she looks enough to still go for her and uh i hate that she is incredibly slow but that's nothing a little bit of a linico touch can fix if i get her that is but hey, she can be pretty darn annoying, and I imagine she'll make her home in Ether Raids. A Cavline, for sure, probably, if those still exist. Instant Glimmer, too, is pretty annoying with that Times Pulse Tome. Ooh, look at you. Lol Attack Defense Fury. Now, if only you had a free fall up, you'd be scary. All you do is stop ours, though. Oh, hey, another Dragon has <laughs> a no fall up esque effect. Alright. 
I was very worried about Happy. We don't really have anyone who can fight back against her or take a hit from her glimmer. So I was considering who to use, but we're gonna have to just bank on um, initiating on her. And to do that, we'll probably use Faye. Oh, this is also the map that had um, Yuri going all over the freaking place. All right. A solid move. Do this so I can get his extra movement, and then we're gonna go ahead and pop you. Really? Tell to you, and then everyone else will have to figure out what to do. You don't have any assists, What's so we next? don't gotta worry about you canceling anywhere. Got it. I like how she winks. All right, so we should be good taking the hit here. Actually, I'll leave that there. Telti should be fine. Everyone else is the problem. Like, you give Hoppy, like, I can see Hoppy getting Iceberg if you give her Quick Impulse, or if you're running Pent, who I have. And other than that, you could probably also do one. And, uh, and this is something that's probably season specific. Oh, sorry, I haven't fallen asleep yet. And like I said, it's really early Festival in the morning. The Dang it, she almost had him. Understood. One shot. You. Time for tricks. Understood. Are you one shot? You. So we let Faye deal with Hoppy, so we gotta repo her up there. Everyone else should be fine, we just gotta keep on um, Telti out of the way. Actually, she can probably just... Nope, I forgot, he kills off our follow-ups. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> None stand up to my little dragon. What I intend on doing if I get happy, and I will probably just try it to see how well it works, is uh, you can do, like I said, quick impulse for iceberg stuff or two cool, three cooldown specials. And, uh,. Anything higher than that, you'll probably need Hector. Huh. Figured you would attack Faye, because I don't know, you might have had a chance to survive. Actually, no, you wouldn't have. But that just goes to show that the AI goes for the units they deal the most damage to, even if they die. Or rather, if they die, they go for the one who they deal the most damage to. Oh. Oh? I think we just killed Oter. <clears throat> Not done yet. I can s I can still fight. Falling Noble. <laughs> Are we talking about Oter? I know what we were talking about, but... This is kind of appropriate for Oter too. And Fafner. Wait, what's happening? Though House Nouvelle has fallen, it is still every noble's duty to provide for the common folk. Constance, another character on this banner that I would like to get. She's pretty much Byleth, Duo Byleth 2.0, which is terrifying because apparently we needed a stronger Duo Byleth. Uh, uh, that, just, just think about dual Bila stuff and apply that to the constants there. Looks like we're dealing with Hoppy again. Great. Alm is on his own. Uh, we can make that tell to you, though. 
We have okay flyer guidance. All right, so we can't bait you. Mystic boost, huh? Hmm. Faye actually still takes her out, funnily enough. All right. Gotta be careful. This axe flyer there can like move over here and Constance can do some stuff. Alright, so on her odd turns. Okay, yeah, she kills off our res and speed boost. Good thing Telty doesn't have any of those. Still, we get outsped and probably die to her without our moonbow. So we'll go right there. Like this? Oh, I should have waited. And then I started to turn with this on. Have some treats. I'll go. We'll do sure. this. I stand ready. Time for tricks. Make sure we get our march going, I guess. Oh, that's a problem though. Although you should move up first, right? You'll move down first. Copy, you'll do that for me, please. Yep, she moved over there. That is annoying. Thank you, Hoppy. If you get Hec Legendary Hector with his Osteo's Pulse, Pent, and the uh, Hoppy with a Quick Impulse, you can do like four cooldown stuff. So that's AoEs, which is something I will probably do. Legendary! Oh! Got it. Take care of me. Huh. Pick your poison, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make her get glimmered. That's pretty mean. Man, I don't know if you guys remember, but way back when in um the very first Hall of Forms, we had Alm as the uh, as one of them. I stand ready for our future. I'm off. My Alm was pretty nice. I think he was at that time. If we had Forma Souls back then, he was the one I would have gone back for. I would have gotten him if we had Forma Souls back then. Or the Bowie. Bonus Doubler Bowie was kind of dumb back then. <laughs> Ashen Valiant. You won't escape. Alas, wasn't meant to be. I don't even know much about where I come from, or why I have this crest. I feel like there was a follow-up to that sentence, but okay. Yuri is here! Voiced by Alejandro Saab, Kaki Hughes, who I am a big fan of. Other than that, I don't know anything about Yuri, because he's from a DLC for a game who I haven't even finished yet. <laughs> But he's gonna be a problem, I imagine, for both Ether raids and maybe Arena. Well, Ether raids offense and defense will probably cause some havoc. All the plays he can make with terms of sh movement, three movement, Canto two foul play, which is just three range swap. And if I get him, I'm gonna try some Lilith stuff. Alright, so we got this guy, he's back. Yeah, they put everyone out of range, too. Rotter Fox. And rain. So that's minus eight speed and attack if you initiate. Instant Lance.
All right. Here we go. Got it. Time for tricks. I'll go. I'll take the risky move and have my Faye be alone. Without any armored friends to give her the march, and I'm also gonna take that chance with um Mur as well. Even though we're dealing with Mr. Three Movement up there. Oh, I figured. Boosted stats would have saved him. I should have just let Faye do it, but I wanted to let Mur have some fun. Tell to you. This is my first time using Mur, by the way, actually. <laughs> I just went ahead and got her out of the uh, hall of forms. And this is the first I'm testing her out. I just gave her Mystic Boost because I thought, maybe. Oh, oh god, that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> just seeing that happen, I was like, huh. Okay. We take him out. Nice. But we can't save Tell to you. 54 attack on initiation. 49. Darn it. Yay! Unfortunately, we can't really reach anyone. So... Got it. We need to do this. I'm closing the gate. Have some treats. I'm on it. Repo her out of there. I'll go, sure. Festivals are the festivals. Face fast enough to knock Time her double. And that's hilarious. <laughs> this is definitely my most invested into armor unit. I've only got like three four now because we have a sprint in Amelia. But uh it for me my most invested into oh bummer. My most invested into armor units are Black Knight, who's plus five also, with Castro Stance two, and our remark of his own, Bold Fighter. Uh Faye, of course, because you can see she's a freaking forma. What's next? B. I'll go sure. I thought we were gonna double. I don't know how I thought that way, but I did. I'm off. I'll protect you. Then uh Winter Hilda, who's not really invested, I just want to merge her up. Yay. And then of course Resplendent Amelia. Other than that, I have some characters who are a little merged here and there. Like, I have Winter Lissa. The most invested thing to say about her is that I gave her Sturdy Blow and Ether from a Brave Lucina that I got. I stand ready. Unfortunate that we don't end this with a glimmer, but hey. A solid move. It sucks how Sturdy Blow, of all things, is still a 5-star luck skill. But I best choose my words very carefully because they might just stick it on a GHB. Everything lost. Oh boy. So sparkly! Haven't heard from Oter. Oh, oh! Oh. Okay, he's he's pretty banged up. I guess we threw down a little bit more after that initial fight. Damn it! This is it then. Wait, or Ultra will die. Step away from him, Princess Regan. Oh dang, Alphonse about to do the D. I'm gonna say welcome to the Weapon Triangle. No, I, I won't let you kill him. Just just give me time to talk to him. Reckon. Give grammar to me, Oter. There's still time. We can return far from the normal, and the three of us can live together again. Don't you want that? 
Freaking. <laughs> you really do not understand, do you? <laughs> what are you talking about? It doesn't matter what you do now. I'm going to die here. So I might as well let you in on a little secret. What the f- um, huh? I killed your parents. What? What? They, they were your parents too! No. I simply let you and Fafner assume. As you were happy to do. You are no family of mine. I... I, I don't understand. My parents lived inside the walls of Nidavalir's castle. My father lived as a distant relative of the king. So Ulter is royalty. In a way. Only, the truth was, he was nothing more than a commoner with a face the nobles found pleasant. A face, they thought, that looked so much like theirs. The royals were eager to claim him as their own. The sheer arrogance. Laughable, isn't it? So, I was born and raised in the castle. One night, my parents opened the rear gate for some new visitors. They told me to show them how to find the king without being noticed. Oh. Uh, for me, it was literal child's play. I did as I was told without question. Then... That means Nidavalir's coop was... My parents were used by the people who wanted to kill the royal family. I'm sure they told my father they would make him king. It only took an instant for the hall to be awash with blood. I had no idea what was happening. I was confused. But I knew it was dangerous to stay where I stood. In the commotion, I took the king and queen's crying baby from the cradle and ran away. That baby was you. So, Princess Regan has always been a princess of Nidavellir from the very start? That, that can't be true. I, I don't believe it. Why would I lie? You were able to enter the Tower of Nidavellir. What more proof do you need? The gates there never opened for either of us. Take Grimma from him now, Princess Regan. What? Now? Yes. Fafnir's rampage has already destroyed much of the kingdom. Recovery from this disaster will take a long time as it is. With you, their princess, return. The people have something to rally around, to hope for. Then the work of rebuilding can truly begin. But first, Fafnir has to be stopped. And you have to be the one to do it. If you defeat him, no one will argue your right to the throne. You want me to defeat Fafner? No, you can't. I won't allow it. You were never anything more than a sniveling crybaby. I hate you. You get everything I ever wanted, all without ever lifting a finger. And now... Now you want to take my brother from me, too? Oter? Just go. Leave us. You and all your little friends. Leave this kingdom now. Before you never get the chance. A or another chance. Well, I, I tried. I can't look. I... Man, I shouldn't have done this at such a late time. I'm worried about waking people up from their sleep. <laughs> Alright, we got three movement boy. Three movement girl. Girl. And then the slow guy. Man without personal skill.
This is it, huh? Oter had his most legit with his Fury 4. Adopted brother of Nidvalir's king, Fafnir. Worships his brother and fully supports his ambitions of conquest. To the bitter end. So, how, how are we going to end this, huh? I'm on it. I think this is appropriate. Really? This is going to be one annoying map, that's for sure. I made a mistake. Time for tricks? Got it. I forgot about Yuri. Later, Oter. You leave me no choice. Mm-hmm. No. Vafnir. Please stop doing that, Yuri. You're terror. You're scaring me, man. Hmm. What's next? Like this? Huh? Wait, we can't pass through this. I'm on it. You're kidding me. Oh, no, we can't go here. Oh, there's a freaking hole. I couldn't really tell because there's like faded smoke or is that a cloud over this? Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. That's really annoying because now someone's going to have to be in range of happy. Oh, no. What's next? A solid move. I'm literally only scared of Hoppy. <sighs> it really is not helping. Got it. Well, that's frustrating. Hmm. Really? Very frustrating. You're not gonna break that, are you? It'd really suck if you did. Time for tricks? So, just festivals. in case you do. Yay. Oh, the kids are trapped. <laughs> the kids are trapped! No! The children! We have to save the children! Got it. For frick's sake. Can't even draw that. Yay! Time for tricks. A solid move. What's next? We're going to take a little bit of a gamble.
on who Yuri kills. Oh. It's the little one. Literally exact damage. Boy, that's annoying. Yep. Like I said, he's real he's gonna be real annoying to deal with. Like this? And get out of my face. I stand ready. You menace. You won't escape. Really? I'm off. I'll go. Sure. Got it. And both his seed is I'm just gonna give you a nice preview of what'll happen to you in the arena. Yeah. Yeah. So sparkly. Yuri and Happy. Those are the only things I was worried about. Literally just because of their range. And because they have instantly ready specials. God, it's so annoying. Yuri's foul play is not bad. Uh, it's just gonna be real. Oh, I hope I don't have to deal with that in the AR. And now this. Just go. We will be taking grammar from you now, it's here. Damn it. Why? Don't you just kill me already? Walter, don't say such. I tried, you know, to get rid of you all this time. I wanted to kill you. Because of you, I've only known pain and suffering. I lost my mother and father, was chased out of the castle, forced to dig through garbage to survive. Then, then Fafner came and he saved me. I knew that if he was king, I could be happy, and I would never have to worry again. And yet you managed to ruin even that. Again, you take everything from me. Everything but... But... <laughs> Brother... Brother, where are you? Oter, wait, don't... Stay away from me. I won't let you take my brother from me. Oter. You were my brother too, Oter. You were always so kind and did so much. I always admired that. And loved you for that. <sighs> <laughs> Phone dying, Bruh. There, I'm so glad you've come. I promise to never leave you. Just hold me close, like when. He didn't. Did Fafner just end Oter himself? Oh. Well, um, hmm. Oter's End, I guess, is pretty much the name of this chapter for real. So Oter was the star of this chapter. He caused a lot of problems, but now he's 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 gone. He was he helped in the coup of Nidavellir that pretty much led to Fafnir's rise, I think. He led to Regan's parents' death, the royal family. 
Mm. He was the reason Fafner could never get back. Pretty much spurred on Fafner's conquest, which I'm pretty sure was just for Fafner's attempts at finding ways to get home, it seems. But now he's gone. That's it. So all that's left is to deal with Fafner and I assume Atri. She hasn't popped up at all, nor was she mentioned in this chapter. So now that, I guess that's it. So thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to let me know what you thought about chapter 11. We got two chapters left. Can't wait to see how this ends. I liked it. Oter, he, he had a lot of he had a lot of uh, attention given to him in, uh, throughout this book so far. So seeing him go did kind of mean something. I don't like that. The story's getting better.